All right, God bless you. Greetings, everyone. This message is pre-recorded. Hallelujah. God bless you this Sunday morning. This is pre-recorded. All right. We bring you greetings from God the Father and from his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the son of God. God the Father sent his son, Jesus Christ, into the world to take away our sin, to die for our sin. He will wound it for our transgression. He will bruise for our iniquity. That means to take our iniquity and transgression away. That done through his blood. The scriptures say that the blood of Jesus Christ cleaned us from all sin. That's what the scriptures say. Hallelujah. The scriptures say, have faith in his blood for the remission of sin. That's what the scriptures said. Jesus Christ said, hallelujah. He who the Son set free is free indeed. Jesus Christ said, he that commits sin is the servant of sin. But he who the Son set free is free indeed. No, you ain't no saint struggling with sin. No saint. Jesus set you free. When you're free, ain't no struggle. Ain't, I ain't got it. Well, I'm struggling with you and I'm free from you for. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm up there. I'm doing two or three things at one time. I'm recording. Coming out to you one more time. A video, pardon me. Uploading rather. A video. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Jesus Christ came to save his people from their sin. Jesus Christ said, repent. The Bible says in Acts 3 and 26, God sent his son Jesus to bless you and turn it every one of you away from your iniquity. Turn you away from it. When you turn away from something, the scriptures say, let everyone that uh, 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 name the name of Christ. If you just name his name, I'm a Christian. I'm saved. I'm sanctified. I'm a believer. If I'm Pentecostal. If, if you name the name of Christ, the scriptures say, depart from iniquity. Jesus going to say in that day, depart from me, you that work iniquity. All right, you better repent. Call Jesus, believe Jesus to cleanse you from all your sin. Do you want that? Do you want that life? Jesus Christ will do that. He's alive now. All right, God raised him from the dead. Jesus Christ in the book of John chapter 3 verse 17 let's start with 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life now whoever you don't believe in him you're going to perish you believe in him, you won't perish. Verse 17. God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God did send Jesus to condemn you. God sent Jesus to save you. Now the next verse. Verse 18, Jesus said, but you are condemned. Let's go there. John 3. Let me spec that. Woo, glory. 
John 3, 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned. If you believe on Jesus, you're not condemned. You say, I believe. No, you don't believe. You commit sin, you don't believe. He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Jesus said you condemned already. Jesus said you condemned already. Read why you condemn. Because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. You say, I do believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God. I, I confess and I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus died on the cross and rose again the third day. I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. So I believe. No, you don't believe. Verse 19. And this is the condemnation. That light is come into the world. Here's the condemnation. For men, for you, for your pastor, for your bishop, for your apostle, for such a guy, Christ, Baptist messages, whatever, for men love darkness rather than light. How you know they love darkness? Talk cheap. Because they will show you love darkness. They will show you don't believe. Because their deeds are evil. Your deeds evil. What you do is evil. Sin. Wait a minute. Read. Everyone that doeth evil hate the light. You don't love the light. You don't love Jesus. You hate Jesus. Now mind you who Jesus talked to. Jesus talked to Nicodemus, the Pharisee. You know they hated Jesus. I think Nicodemus got it right. But you know the Pharisees hated Jesus. The Jews hated him. They killed him. He brought in the word. They killed him. They fought the word. They fought him. You fight the word. I've been saying it for some time. Don't, I don't care if you ain't ready to live the life. Don't you fight God's word. What's he? Verse 20. Everyone that do it, they will hate the light. They either come into the light. You didn't come to the light. Lest his deeds should be approved. When you come to the light, your deeds will be approved. They won't be evil no more. They'll be good. Christ say you condemn. You got sin. You condemn. But Christ came to take away your sin. Christ's blood cleanses us from all sin. Christ told us to preach repentance and remission of sin. In his name, Christ will take away your sin. You require to repent. Turn from your sin. Turn to Christ. Believe Christ to take away your sin. Now, the law couldn't do it. Those animal sacrifices could never take away sin. Hebrews chapter 10. They couldn't. It was impossible. For the blood of bulls and bullocks and ghosts to take away your sin. They couldn't do it. But Christ's blood did what they could do. Christ's blood takes away all our sin if you believe, if you repent, if you come to him, if you ask him. The Bible says, Who's well? Call on the name of the Lord, shall be saved. We got to meet you where you are. We got to come direct and lie you don't know you wrong. But we got to show you the scripture. And that's our aim. So you can be saved. So you see who you believe in, you follow. Hey. You believe in your wife and you believe in your husband. That's why you married them. You believe in your job. That's why you went to work for it. You believe in your sorority. That's why you joined. Oh, 
But he, he, believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He'll take away your sin. He'll give you his spirit. He'll fill you with the Holy Ghost. Call on him. Ask him if you want that. Do you want to live with Jesus? You, know, you ain't live with you. You ain't live with Jesus. Walk around and sin. No, you ain't. But do you want to live with Jesus? Live free from sin. Keep his commandments. You know when you sin, you ain't keeping Jesus' commandments. You keeping the devil's commandments. Praise God. Jesus wants you saved. He didn't come to condemn you, but you condemn because you rejected him and you fight him and you don't believe him. They didn't believe. The Jews didn't believe Jesus. He came to his own and all received him not. They crucified him. They fought him tooth and nail every time. Hallelujah. Just like some of you fight me. But I ain't Jesus. Praise God. Jesus wants you say, You could deal. You, you got sin. I, I, my God, I don't want you to have another good night's sleep. Don't go to church no more. Don't you dance no more. Don't talk in no cow talk. Get out of the pulpit. You got sin. You ain't saved. You don't believe. Thank you for real. God bless you this Sunday morning. Repent before it ever lasts too late. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to take away your sin. Call on him. Turn from your sin. Go sin no more. Thank you for hearing.